you're watching Popular Cruising and our review of American Cruise Line's American Constellation. The ship is a great domestic option for those wishing to sail closer to home without the need for a passport. The ship is sleek and contemporary on the outside, with accommodation designs that are more traditional. Entry-level cabin categories include picture windows to the outside, and then upgrade from there to private balconies. Otherwise, they vary only slightly in size and decor, and are mostly indicative of which deck they're on. Jumping up in scale, however, are veranda suites, with up to 450 square feet of generous space. And the top tier are the similarly sized owner suites, with plenty of room to roam around in, as well as convenient furnishings. And closet space, although strangely without a door. Besides a large flat panel television, there's also a helpful desk. Including a Keurig coffee maker. Meanwhile, bathrooms are a little more residential in style. But showers are nicely sized. Beds are also pretty comfortable. And our teddy bear friends also appreciated USB charging at the clock radio. And of course just outside, the balcony itself is always a treat. And as for activities on board, guests can prepare for the day at the ship's office and vestibule. Vessel's bank of elevators. Among the public spaces are a number of cozy lounges. Good for just relaxing or socializing. There's also plenty of reading material to go around. And if you want to pick out a game or another book, there's additionally a fully stocked library. Featuring Puzzle Fun, as well as a computer station. The Cascade Lounge is the main observation venue on board, with a bar complimentarily available at cocktail hour. of seating along the welcome scenic windows. Although for a relatively new vessel, there are many unfortunate stains in the carpet. Making the wood dance flooring here more suitable. Still, the option for snacks here during the day was a nice bonus. And for those looking to work off some of those calories, there's also an exercise room on board. As 
well as a handy self-service laundry facility. For even more treats throughout the day, there's the Sky Lounge. An aft facing variety for additional vistas. And more great space for lounging about. Inside, as well as just outside at the sun decks. And while there's lots of great seating in the sun, There's also the option for shade, too. And then on the uppermost deck, there are loungers for sunbathing. a fun petting green. But more than anything, this cruise line is about the destination, encompassing beautiful Puget Sound in the San Juan Islands, as uniquely seen from the pilot house, where the captain gives explanatory tours. or best view from your own balcony. While entering scenic harbors. Before taking excursions immediately from off the ship. for vistas of the vessel itself. And perhaps the natural surroundings with friendly locals by way of other boats. while dramatically passing the occasional commercial ship. Prior to some breathtaking wildlife viewing. Then after working up an appetite, there's the likes of tea time and cocktail hour back in the Cascade Lounge.
showcasing more elaborate nibbles. Plus, there's the dining room. A patriotic room for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Where flavor profiles are generally good, but portion sizes are inconsistent. Sweet Sundays and root beer floats are waiting. As well as more potent potables. Lastly, entertainment on board ranges from knowledgeable lectures performers, and talented live ensembles. Great for jazz aficionados. Please feel free to subscribe to our channel, watch our other videos, and visit popularcruising.com.